Hey guys, this is Robin, Next Gen Writer here. <clears throat> uh, so I had a trouble ticket come in to my support page. Uh, a guy had bought a unit. Um, he bought it somewhere else, but that's okay. We'll, we'll try to help him out today. Because it made me realize I have not done a video on a firmware upgrade. So he said he had trouble um, doing his firmware upgrade and the unit said um, couldn't access the SD card. So we're going to try to replicate that because the SD card I have in the unit is not properly formatted. And then um, we'll see if we can replicate that and, and resolve it. And then also get the firmware update done. So what you want to do is make sure you're not in CarPlay. And um, then you want to go into Phone Link. And you want to be in Wi-Fi Video and you want to make this connection. So we'll go into Wi-Fi. Okay, now it's it's already connected. Um, and then we'll go into the Moto DVR app. And you'll see it'll flip over to the recorder page. So we'll now enter into firmware update. We'll go ahead and detect. So it sees that the uh, the existing firmware version. And then we are due for an upgrade. There's new firmware. So we'll go ahead and download that. So this may take a bit. This is going to download over my uh, data connection, not over Wi-Fi as we're connected to the, uh, to the host. Okay, now we got the uh, firmware downloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and select upgrade firmware. And now it's gonna do the upgrade. So let's see if we get any errors based on the SD card. Okay, so it says, um, fail to upload the upgrade. Please check whether the SD card is properly inserted. So what I'm going to do is we're going to exit out. So I'm going to have to disconnect. Kill the Wi-Fi for a second. And it throws up, a, he must have had it formatted because it, um, tells you to format the card. So we're going to go ahead and format. Okay, it's loading the card. Go back into phone link. Turn our Wi-Fi back on. Okay, reestablish the connection. We may have to launch Moto DVR. Maybe not. So uh, let's try that again. Okay, new firmware detected. Do you want to upgrade? So we're going to confirm. It's rebooting the device. Done over here. And it's rebooting again. So it looks like it's flashing in uh, multiple sections. So it's flash part B this time. And 
tells you here, I don't know if you guys can read this, it says it takes about five minutes. Okay, now we got part C, part D. Now it says upgrade success, rebooting. And it gives you a window, it says uh, congratulations on the successful upgrade. It gave you a new version. And there you see the new version matches the downloaded version. So I don't know if we're done here. Okay. And then you can always see your firmware version here as well. So 2024-0606, which matches our downloaded firmware version. Um, so now we'll Oh, we're not connected, so we're going to go back in and we'll just detect it with the mobile app. Go back in the phone link and go to Wi-Fi video. And then um, I'm going to close this because usually it's just better to... Uh, get this swipe out. So we'll go in and reconnect. Let's see if it works. I didn't really get the app closed. Photo DVR. Firmware. There it is, and now it's detected the new firmware. So, there you have it. I'm not sure what the guy's issue was. Um, I couldn't really replicate it without the formatted, with the unformatted SD card. Um, but anyway, um, for you general viewers, you guys um, can see uh, the upgrade process. So, uh, let's disconnect. And then I can tell you something I noticed right away um, with this fir firmware version. Uh, now we have a voltage up here at the top. Now I think this was released. Some of my units going out had firmware that had the, had the voltage there. And then the factory had told me that there were some issues with the reliability of that voltage. And um, a firmware upgrades would remove it so it looks like they've got that working and now the latest version of that firmware uh, does give you the voltage display with the battery icon which is kind of nice uh, don't see anything else obvious here on the home screen and i don't really get any documentation with what what's happening with the firmware upgrades i kind of asked for that but um it hasn't come so far so anyway, there you have it, firmware upgrade, um, pretty straightforward. That's what it looks like. Thanks for watching.